Hello, in this video, we're going to verify that this set together with a certain addition is going to form a group. So the addition we're going to look at is basically uh, addition modulo six. So I'm just going to use uh, this symbol here, the circle plus, whoops, let me do a better job there. Uh, circle plus is going to denote uh, addition, and this is just so we have a symbol for it, uh, modulo six. Um, so basically, what are these numbers? Let's talk about that. Uh, these are the remainders that you get when you divide a number by six. This is a list of all the possible remainders. So for example, um, let's talk about how the addition works here. So let's say you do um, three plus four. So three circle plus four. Well, that's going to be seven, right? But seven is the same thing. Uh, what, what is seven, right? Well, in this group, seven is the same thing as, as one. It's basically because six uh, goes into seven one time and the remainder is one. Okay, how about uh, five circle plus four? That's going to be nine. That's the same thing as three, right? Because six goes into uh, nine one time and so the answer is, is uh, three. What about something like uh, 22? What is the number 22? I'm just, I just, I'm just picking a, a random number here. How would that fall into this set here? Uh, well, how many times does 6 go into 22? Well, 6 times 3 is 18, so the remainder is 4. So 22 is actually equal to 4. You could actually think of these as something called equivalence classes. And so each equivalence class has infinitely many representatives. You can take any member of the equivalence class, and that can be a representative of that class. So 22 and 4 are basically representatives of the equivalence class 4, which is the set uh, of remainders, right, of possible remainders. Uh, if we decide to restrict those remainders to these digits, we can do that uh, by f using the notion of equivalence classes. Uh, but it also agrees with uh, common sense division, right? If you have three plus four, you get seven. Um, the remainder is one after six goes into it. Five plus four is nine. Uh, the remainder is three after six goes into it. So, uh, and this is called addition modulo six. So clearly this is, uh, you know, closure is satisfied. So I'm going to write closure and just put a check mark and we can just agree that uh, these are the remainders. Uh, associativity is also very easy to see. So associate, whoops, my uh, my mouse here or my uh, my pen here is starting to, I need to adjust the settings. Associativity is also pretty easy to see uh, because these are just regular numbers, right? So um, the, the associativity is going to follow from just associativity of uh, addition. So there's no... Um, nothing crazy there. The identity element is going to be zero. So the identity is going to be zero and zero is an element uh, in this set. So zero is in this set and uh, zero circle plus x is equal to x circle plus zero, which is equal to x. So for all x. So this is this is the identity element uh, in Z6. It's going to work for all of these guys, right? No issues. One plus zero is zero plus one, etc. And uh, for any element, there is an inverse. Let's talk about that. So this one's a little bit harder. So inverses. Whoops. I have to fix my uh, pen before I make another video here. It it it, it wants to scroll on accident. Um, so given any element, we have an inverse. So let's say given x in z6 what is the inverse element so what is an element we can add to this that is going to give us zero right what is what is what is that going to be well take six minus x which which six minus x is in z6 okay this is in z6 um you could think, you know, six is the same thing as zero. So it's basically saying zero minus x. Uh, and then that's just saying minus x, which is in Z6, right? So uh, it's negative four would be the same thing um, as four. So here, uh, this is in Z6. Then if we have x plus 
6 minus x, circle plus. This is uh, basically going to uh, give us 6. And this is going to be equal to 0, right? So that's the identity element, and so all is good. So we have inverses. We have identity, we have inverses, we have associativity, um, and we have this beautiful set. So we have a group. So kind of cool. Just thought I would show you this interesting group. Until next time, take care.